Well, hello, farm family. Good morning. This is Nico here with Our Brown Farmhouse. It's Thursday morning. It's about 10 a.m., about 70 degrees or so. Trying to get an early start to my day before it gets too hot because if you see right behind me, Tractor Supply finally did their job. Okay, I'm joking. I've been giving them a hard time, but it's because they offer free same day delivery and I've done it like 10 times and I never get it the same day. So this time I said, hmm, what if I order it the day before I actually need it? Maybe I'll get it the next day. Nope, still took two days. So whatever, that's my rent. But here is everything we have. So we have all of our cattle panels because once again, this is a cattle panel fence. We have our 19 posts. The smaller posts are gonna be at eight foot intervals. These bigger posts right there and right there are gonna be for our gates. So, good morning Achilles. You been in a spider web? <laughs> good morning, buddy. Achilles is a black Russian terrier. If you're new here, he's four years old. Over here by Graceland, mom and I think that's where we're gonna plant those. We haven't made our mind up yet, but up cycle. So we have two gates over here and we're gonna be putting that 16 foot gate at the entrance of this new pasture. All right, so <laughs> in my intro, there's a part where I kind of froze and it's because it dawned on me that I measured the gate for 12 feet, totally forgetting that the gate is actually 16 feet. So I just pulled the gate over. I'm gonna have to tweak some things, but it's no biggie y'all. Nothing to fret over. First world problems as they would say. So let me show you what I got. This is a 16 foot gate. Just like my two gates over there, you see them? Through these grandfather oaks, there's a 16 footer, 16 footer. The entrance to the house, a 16 footer. I should have known better. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe the sun was beating me up the day I uh, measured out these posts, but measured it at 12 feet. So it looks like I am going to have to post hole dig one hole right here. And that's okay, it's not the end of the world. All the intervals for the post right there will remain the same. And then I will go from here to there, just the same. The only difference is I'm gonna to have to fill this hole in and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep that post, put a new post here. I'll figure it out. It's not gonna be that big of a deal, y'all. So live and learn, right? Live and learn. But baby Pharaoh is in the house sleeping. Just put him down. This is day number four of my paternal leave alone, but technically it's day number two because mom was off on Sunday, then she was off on Tuesday, Wednesday. So I've only been alone with Pharaoh on Monday. So today's te technically my second day, but that time with mama before she like went back to work was really beneficial because I feel like I have a schedule down packed. So if I know my son, like I believe I know my son, I have two hours of work out here before he wakes up for his next bottle feeding. Um, but I do have a monitor so I can, if he wakes up before then, I'll know. Well, time is a ticking, so let's get to it. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. 
I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees All right, y'all. Well, I was filming, or at least I thought I was, but the phone overheated. And uh, yeah, so three posts in the ground, looking pretty good. They're extremely sturdy. They are plum. I did notice that with this one, the post itself isn't straight but from the center of the pole it is plum i would probably say i'm about uh 20 minutes in and i got three posts done so the good news is as you see i'm going to be in the shade for a while Whew, which i welcome because i am sweating my butt off y'all i do have water before I filmed this, I did actually to go get the water. And then I also checked on baby Pharaoh. Sound asleep, still doing good. So let's keep this party going, y'all. It kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night with her. Spring on one of my t-shirts. So it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Y'all, this area is where the ants are, so I'm just trying to be cautious. Because I still don't see the hole in the ground or where they came from, so. We are nine holes in, which means we're halfway done. Some of these holes, because of like rock or roots and stuff like that, we couldn't get the post as deep as we wanted. But that's okay. After this project is done, we're going to come through and kind of like the measuring stick we use for the hole, use a similar stick to get all the posts the exact same height above ground. And we're just going to sawzall the remainder off which would make the post above ground all the same height. But let's go check on baby Pharaoh, see how he's doing. Y'all, when I tell you this young man sticks to his schedule to a T, watch this, let me show you something. So he's in the bed, as you can see, like a dad would do, I built a fort around him and look at him. Hey, Papa. You just woke up from your nap? Yeah? Yeah? He just woke up, y'all. I could tell. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's change your diaper and then get you a bottle. And we're going to take a break until later on. Finish that project. Yeah. That's one happy baby. <laughs> All right. Let me take care of this, y'all. And, and we'll get back to it once he's either settled takes a nap, or just later on. 
diaper's been changed. He's had a bottle. Now he, he's been burped. He's now just sitting and relaxing. This is a, what I call the dad pillow. You know, mamas like to use the bobby pillow or whatever, right? We don't use that, we figure it out. And he's, he's chilling, he's relaxing, he's talking. <laughs> Isn't that right, buddy? Yeah? Are you full on milk? I wanna sit and relax like that. Let me sit next to you. So y'all, at least until his next nap, on daddy duties, paternity leave, right? So I'm gonna take care of that, spend some time with baby Pharaoh, then we'll get back to our day. All right, y'all, so I got baby Pharaoh back to sleep. He's right in the car in the nice AC. Hey, hey, day number two by myself, day number four overall, it's not going so bad, y'all. You know, I'm kind of like Midas around here, so don't want to jinx myself, but I'm feeling good. But uh, he's taking his nap, so let's get back to it, y'all. Down to the last hole, y'all. Then I'ma take a break before get to the next part. Of course, Egypt's at school, Sahara's at school, Nana's at work, Mama's at work. So hopefully, when reinforcements arrive, we can hit fast forward and knock this out. Whew. One man wrecking ball today though, y'all. All right, y'all. So luckily there's a little bit of an overcast as you can see right there. So, and a lot of shade, but I've drawn a string. You probably, probably could barely see it, but I've drawn a string all the way down. And now I'm just gonna start hanging some of the cattle panel. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna probably do two or three panels just to see how it goes in full transparency before I begin the film. But uh, that's what I have up next and yeah. Baby Pharaoh, still asleep, but in about 30 minutes should be the uh, next time he wakes up. And there was no every story I have told. Nearing the finish line, y'all. Well, the finish line for today. There's a few spots along the fence that I'ma shore up. Um, and then when mama gets home, we're gonna try to put the post in the ground with cement where the gate's gonna go. And you know, gotta get all the logs uh, or the fence posts that are above ground to the same height. So details. 
and then are at work. So, when dinner's up to dad, the girls choose and Egypt chose this place. What's the name of this place, Egypt? Coney Island. Coney Island, right? I have chili cheese fries and a Coney. Egypt has chili cheese fries and she already ate all her hot dog, y'all. And Sahara doesn't like bread or anything. So, is it yummy, Sahara? You like yellow and red, mustard and ketchup. And Pharaoh drank a bottle. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. What? That's a big one, Dad. Look. Yeah, that is a big fry, Egypt. Wow. Okay, Mom, come out to hot dog. Well, like as soon as we're done here, we'll head back to the house and see what we can finish up. All right, y'all. We are home from dinner and picking the girls up. Before I went to go pick up Sahara, I did change my shirt, as you can see, because I was just really dirty. I looked like a construction worker, literally. Now I'm dirty again, but let me show you where we are. So, sunset right now. It's pretty beautiful, though. We have all the fencing done this direction, all the way down to the road. The last thing remaining is this gate section right here, y'all. But I'm waiting on Mom to get home from work because she has the cement that I need in the back of her vehicle. But as you can see from here all the way down, the fence is completed. So how exciting is that? Nice and fenced off. The other thing that I did do is I did come through and make all the posts the same height. If the post was shorter, I just left it alone, but there weren't many like that. So now you can better see that all the posts are a similar height, not the same, but a similar height. Now, if y'all remember when we built Thor's house, we used the technique called uh, Shoishugiban. It's the Japanese wood burning technique and I'm about to burn the top of all these posts because I want to protect it from the elements and also have a little bit of fun, of course. And then there's another area on the property that is just bare wood, hasn't been stained or painted. I think I'm gonna go over there and do it as well, just because really. I remember when we did it on Thor's house, there were many of you that commented that, hey Nico, I think you're gonna uh, be doing that a lot more. I think y'all were right. Let's go. Huh? Oh. 
All right, so as y'all can see, Egypt's over there feeding the boys. We've already fed all the other animals. Losing sunlight. So I'm gonna try to do this project over here where it shouldn't take that long. And then we have one more thing to show you that we got from petals from the past from one of you. So of course that means in the next video, which would be technically our third day working on the um, on this project, this fencing project, we should be able to wrap it up. Hey Frankie, you here to talk about the project with me? All right, so it's pretty simple and this was actually Frankie's idea, y'all. So if we slide over this way, all this exposed wood that is treated lumber, but it isn't, um, it isn't stained or anything like that, I'm gonna go ahead and give it the good old burn. So they came see us at Petals, and we have one dozen is Lavender Orphingtons, and then another dozen is a mix, but 18 days to go. So you can hear a chick chirping in the background. We have one left in the brooder, so now we'll have some space, huh, Egypt? <laughs> yeah, so we also have a second brooder in case. <laughs> That's true, we do. 